What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Death Road to Canada with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony and this is Death Road to Canada. We are continuing our game from episode 99 today. Uh, yesterday was episode 100 and... No, today's episode 101. Yesterday was episode 100. Um, it was two and a half hours long. The horror continues. Yikes. If you haven't watched that yet, you don't necessarily have to because it's kind of disconnected from, uh... The previous one and the current one but it was really good it was fun and it, it went pretty well so I would give that a, a watch whoa it's dog and pony it's nice to see a familiar face he is fighting in a uh, he's fighting a single zombie then suddenly trips and falls down in an awkward mistake he gets really embarrassed when he notices the group he's a charming friend of dog I don't remember where we were in this okay we've got this person that kind of looks ghoulish like I, I think it's one of the Halloween characters right makes sense Bobby Alex Arjan we have 36 food so yeah I'm gonna recruit dog and pony I don't see why not the the charmingness okay his wits and attitude are great but him being charming makes it so that we get free stuff and free training and things like that so we might as well have him in the group. The group camps out in a pro shop near a golf course. Dog and Pony looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from the driving range. I think our best bet is going to be preparing for the siege. Since uh, two of our people are hurt, we don't want them to get hurt again by because if we shoot golf balls at the zombies, they will eventually overwhelm us and we're guaranteed to take one damage per character. If we prepare for the siege, we can have an impact on exactly what happens rather than just being tired in the morning let's do this the zombies start hitting the door of the pro shop there's not much time to prepare before the door breaks these alert there's no escape it's a massive horde after dark and it's one hour long we can probably do just fine here okay got to figure out what our weapons are seems fine i'm gonna take the uh all right she's a rare character she's uh the maid and she's got the ultra mop okay and that's why she looks like a Halloween character, because all the rare characters got Halloween skins if you picked them up on Halloween. Dog and Pony. Uh, we'll give him... He's got an umbrella. It's a weird thing to bring to the group, but sure. Uh, we'll give him a baseball bat, I guess. And then I want Alex to have this grenade. All right. I think we can do this. It is dark in here. Wow. Uh, that's fine. We can we can deal with it. We're not really gonna know how many zombies there are around us because we can only see a pretty small area, and then on the outsides of it, we could just see the movement barely. Or at least that's what I can see. I, I I don't know if you can see less than me, more than me. I don't know what the video, like how the video is encoding and like how, how the quality is. Um. I said yesterday that from now on we're gonna do the uh, harder game modes and until I've had or recruited, uh, until I've had um, every character in my party uh, of the ones that we created for the 100th episode, I'm going to start with one or more of them in order to uh, just have had all of them. And that will start once we lose this run. There are a lot of zombies and we need to kind of cut through them or shoot through them more accurately. We do not want to lose anybody here. Bobby is our uh, healer, but we do want to loot this whole area and there was a room up top that I'd like to go to. Since we're no longer in danger, I would sure like to kill all these zombies. Well, we're no longer in as much danger. We're not cornered right now. No more zombies are spawning. There's probably some decent weapons around. There's a golf club. That's not that good. I th that might be it. It is a golf pro shop, so I can't really expect too much more than that. There's actually quite a few zombies remaining, but they're not really presenting a threat to us. I hope. As long as we uh, keep them kind of bunched up, but also spread out enough that they're not overwhelming us. 
all coming from one direction, that is. Not bunched up in one spot, but all to one side of us so they can't surround us. And I think we've pretty much accomplished that. And they're almost all dead. And then we'll go into that room, see what's going on in there. Hopefully, something good. I'm hoping for food. We don't need it, but obviously we could use it. We could buy some stuff with it. I think we're on... Are we in rare characters mode or familiar faces mode? Oh, we can't tell from here. We can only tell from in the car. All right, that's all the zombies did. Unless there's a couple back here, but I doubt there are. Yeah, oh, toilet? Oh, come on. I was really hoping... Really hoping for a toilet genie. I think that's pretty obvious. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> not anything special there. Choose your fate. That's not a reward. The worst of the zombie siege is over. The group clears out any remaining zombies outside, then goes back. Oh, this is the completion of the previous event. I gotcha. Then goes back in to splat any stragglers so they can set up camp. Everybody's morale goes up a little bit. We lose eight food. Okay. I don't think we lost 16 food. No, we only lost eight. All right. We're pretty hurt. We could really use some medical supplies so we could heal up. Your money versus your life. We're gonna offer a compromise. We can't handle taking damage to Bobby and Arjan. We might be able to take one more, but that's gonna put us in a really bad position. So we're just gonna offer a compromise. Uh, the group offers a compromise to the bandits. The group will leave something the bandits want on the side of the road uh, and then drive away. No harm will come to either side. The supplies will be Personal treasures? What are personal treasures? That is, that'll probably decrease our morale, is my guess. So, I think I'm gonna go with, probably not trunk weapons, but maybe half our ammo. Let's see what we've got in the trunk. We can uh, maximize what we keep here by equipping something in every slot. So we're gonna give him trunk weapons, but we're gonna take uh, this. That seem reasonable. I don't know how much uh, durability is left on this rusty machete, but it's still a pre pretty decent weapon, so I think we're gonna keep that. Yeah, I'm okay with this. All trunk weapons. The group will not, uh, the group not willing or able to spare other supplies decides to dump out their extra weapons from the trunk. Extra weapons lost. Okay. Honestly, we didn't have that much ammunition. We probably should have just given up half of it. The group is driving down a long stretch of road. No threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest either. You have 28 food. We find a trader camp. We'll check it out. With Dog and Pony here, we are going to be able to charm some people, I hope. No, thank you. Guest to Snacks conversion guy. Not interested. I always talk to him, but it barely amounts to anything. What do you got? Medical attention. Uh, we're going to use charm, but that's not going to work. We got free uh, treatment for dog and pony. I wish he could be like, hey, uh, medical person, why not give a little bit of medical attention to my friend that's pretty hurt over here? Axe Merchant. The group meets a strange and menacing figure. He or she is wearing a mask and a trench coat. I sell axes, just axes. We're gonna leave a bee. What's this last person? A mechanic? Yeah. Uh, we could get mechanic training. We're gonna leave. And uh, there's nothing back there, so we're gonna get some free stuff out of these cabins. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. A gun and some bullets. I wish we could put stuff in the trunk. We might actually be able to do that. I don't know if that's been added yet. That's a feature that is pending, but not yet implemented. And I'd love to see it implemented because I, I hate coming in here without any empty slot. Bobby? Did you really need to swing at that chair? Uh, I want this pipe bomb. So I'm gonna go check to see if I can leave stuff in the trunk yet. We can't walk off the side of this. I think I've verified that before, but I, I couldn't remember. Can we leave things in the trunk? Come on. Oh, man. It seems like we can. Uh, maybe? No. All right. So we're gonna 
get out. I'm going to take this knife from Arjan, because it's not very good. Give her my shotgun for the time being. I just, I don't need it in, at the moment. I'll take it back, because I will want to have it. But yeah, we're going to take this pipe bomb, because it's better than a knife. Even though it's a... Why? Why? Are you kidding me? Come on. I'm gonna take dog and pony. Switch to the kitchen knife. Kitchen knives are terrible. What is happening? Okay. Please no one take that. All right. That was, that was crazy. That was completely bonkers. I wanna switch to uh, Bobby. I think we could stand to lose Arjan more than we could stand to lose Bobby. So we're gonna heal just Bobby here. Please let me talk to you. Please let me talk to you. Oh. Oh, come on. It looks like we've already exhausted the healing from the uh, healer there. I didn't think that would be the case, but now I know for future, uh, you know, runs that we cannot heal more than once at that person. We can't get more than one medical attention. I had no idea. We really need medical supplies at this point. Last sale at Yalmart. The group tries to evade a large horde blocked by debris. They get stuck in a Yalmart parking lot. They are going to have to fight here for a while. Seizure alert. There's no escape. Obviously, try to survive. Um, going to take this pipe bomb and this grenade away from Alex. Going to take this shotgun away from Arjan. Give it to Alex. Bobby's all set. Alex is set. Arjan is set, as is dog and pony. Um, I'm debating whether or not to leave Bobby and Arjan behind here. Because I think they'll be useful, but they could also die. I think they'll be more useful. Having four people, we're less likely to take any damage. So if we bring them, we're, we're better off. I don't want to be controlling Bobby. I guess I don't see why not. I'm gonna switch to Alex though. This actually isn't too bad. There's hardly any zombies out here. I'm sure there's a lot inside and they're spawning pretty rapidly now. They're coming off the sides uh, really fast. And when that's happening and they're coming out of the ground, that's just much too much for us. I think it's about time we start shooting. I don't know what our team is set to. I'm gonna set him to either, and then I'm gonna switch to the shotgun with Alex and get to a safer location. We don't wanna be surrounded from both sides. We don't wanna be surrounded from either side, any sides. But we're in a, that's the situation we're in. We should probably try to get inside. I think we'll have more like shelves to maneuver around in there to keep the zombies off our backs. I'm gonna go in there, hope it's not super crowded. Yeah, it's actually it's not too bad in here at all. Um, the siege is over and we can try to escape, but we wanna loot this place. We definitely don't wanna loot yet. There is food here, which we need. There may be a medical supply or two laying around, I'm hoping. But at the very least, there is substantial quantities of food uh, and gasoline and a few other things as well. Yeah, we want to lure these guys down here and then go up to this open space. Hopefully that got them far enough that we can also go through here. I don't know if we could have gotten through that debris. Man, I used to leave sieges as soon as possible. I think that was always a bad move. Well, not always. Sometimes you were t totally overwhelmed and you didn't have guns. Um, sometimes we had nothing to gain from staying. There are definitely times when you want to leave a siege immediately. Especially late game. We are not late game in this round. Alright. Gasoline. There's more food back there. It's far and blocked off, but it's worth it. It's just one, but, you know, we, we can never have too much food. Alright. Another shotgun. More gasoline. Someone will pick that up, right? Someone will... Someone will pick that up, right? Come on.
Uh, I guess I'm the only one with an open slot, but really, you got to carry that that bone. You really need that bone. I'll pick up the shotgun. But I really wish someone else, like, did we forget to empty their inventories before coming in here? I guess. All right, we're all set. I wonder how many zombies are still outside. We'll take this just in case. Probably quite a handful or none at all. I guess they follow, they all followed us in. Okay, we're gonna hit the road. We got three food, 44 gas. Probably no ammo is my guess, but decent enough. I really would like two medical supplies, please. All right. A glimmer of hope on the death road. We uh, probably want morale and random skill gain. We don't know much about these people. I'm, I'm gonna go with morale and random skill gain. There's no option to heal up, so this, this makes as much sense as anything else. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Everybody's morale goes up, that's awesome. Nobody's neutral anymore. And we got shooting, shooting, fitness, and shooting. Okay. Wait, what mode are we playing in? Rare characters mode. And yet, we've found maybe two. Uh, didn't we have TLB and he died immediately? Berry picking in zombie games. The group sets up camp for the night after being sure there's no danger here. They discover edible berry bushes all around the campsite. Do we want to be tired? We have 37 food. That's a nice surplus. But we could have an even nicer surplus. The group picks berries all night and puts them into whatever containers are handy. So we got plus six food instead of uh, eating any. We're up to, what, 43? Yeah. We're tired, but we can deal with it. The lack of medical supplies, the lack of health, and the tiredness combined are a little bit irritating, I admit. And maybe that wasn't the best choice, but I think having more food is going to be better. The group tries to loot a grocery store, but it has been picked absolutely clean. Arjan finds a magazine rack and decides to grab one to read. American guns, turnkey and good to go, cat videos, pictures, or giant farts monthly. Uh, uh, what are her stats? We don't really know, oh, that's Dog and Pony. We don't really know much about her. We could train her mechanical, get her a little better. We know that it's bad. But it's the only one of the things that we know, except cats, videos, pictures. Uh, okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna do turnkey and good to go. I'd like to have a mechanic. We're gonna recruit Trevor like two, two things from now. I, I, I guarantee it at this point. Composure and mechanical. That's pretty nice. Okay. We don't have any good mechanics in the group right now. Bee trouble. A bee flies into the car. Even with a window open, it doesn't leave. It keeps flying right into the group's faces. This could be the biggest challenge yet. Alex is going to swat the bee because panicking might hurt everyone. Alex swatting the bee guarantees Alex gets hurt and he has above uh, full health. So, yeah. He gets hurt. His composure is revealed as terrible. All right, that's fine. That's A-OK -okay in my book. He's still got technically full health. I was planning on moving to Canada anyway. It's good for you, Bobby. Always be looting. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. We could do a grocery rescue or a commercial row. Uh, the commercial row seems safer with our current situation. I think we want to take the safe route. We, don't, we, we would love to get this big amount of food, right? And whatever the reward is. But I think commercial row is the best way to go. It might have a pharmacy. Moderate, irritated, morning. That's fine. That's absolutely fine with me. We're going to leave an empty slot for Arjan. Uh, Alex doesn't need two shotguns. Bobby doesn't need a golf club. Dog and Pony doesn't need a femur. He needs two femurs. He just doesn't need this third one here. Let's do it. Okay, pharmacy. Six pharmacies in line would be amazing. The easy clinic is blocked off. Uh, pretty... Nice, pretty uh, beneficial to us that there's no easy clinic to get to. Let me go down around the bottom of the car. Seems like the safe route. That arcade had nothing in it. What is this? Buttville police, some guns and ammo, or just some debris? So far, not the best. Maybe we should have just gone with the grocery rescue. They might have given us a 
stash of medical supplies. Uh, with our... Is there nothing here? This is the worst looting trip ever. Like... Okay, there's another there's another thing here. Alright, finally a place we can go into, and it's not going to be debris. Okay, okay. I said it wasn't going to be debris. It was a guess. I was guessing. We want all the ammo. We want Alex to have all the shotgun ammo, because Arjun has a shotgun now. We don't want her shooting it. It'd be a, a big old waste. I think we're set on either. Obviously, we could just set ourselves to... Uh, Smash it. I'm, I'm not gonna bother. Uh, right now, we're fine. Nobody's going to shoot anyway. In a couple minutes, we might want to be on either. So I'll keep it there because it doesn't hurt. Anything else in this building? We don't need to kill. Oh, hey, look. Another shotgun? Someone can pick that up, right? Come on. Thank you, dog and pony. Yeah, good enough for me. We don't need three shotguns in our group, but we have them in case we lose them. If we have to lose trunk weapons or something along those lines, someone dies and drops their shotgun, we have more. Buddy Myers is just going to be food. Uh, probably no medical supplies. I guess it's possible that Fuddy Myers had a small pharmacy in the back, like many grocery stores do today, but my guess is no. I get my uh, prescription drugs at, at grocery stores. I haven't used any prescription drugs in like four years. Though. So I guess I, I don't really get them there. I got them there. One more store it looks like. Camper's Depot. Nice. Maybe uh, some first aid kits for campers. That's a very important thing to have while camping. Maybe. I don't know, I've gone camping like twice. And we didn't have a first aid kit, but we probably could have used one. You dropped your hatchet? Are you kidding me? I probably should have just dropped my rusty machete. Someone take the fishing pole. Okay, we're gonna cycle through everything, I guess. I'm gonna keep smashing these zombies and see if our rusty machete breaks so I can pick up that frying pan while it's convenient. Do rusty machetes not break as easily as I thought they did? I'm very confused. I've had this thing for quite some time now, and it's just fully intact. Makes no sense. Back to the car. I'm keeping the rusty machete. Did I find a shortcut? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, that was uh, moderately disappointing, but we did get a decent amount of loot, so it's fine. We're going to be hey, okay We accomplished a, a, a perfect looting trip here while tired and injured. So, we're gonna get a night's rest pretty soon. We're above 50 food. I can't wait to fight some more zombies, says Dog and Pony. Hey, it's Will. Sorry, I was taking a drink. Uh, whoa, it's Will. It's nice to see a familiar face. He was making tons of noise playing a portable game console at full blast. Practical mechanic. I think we want to recruit him, but who do we want to replace? We don't. Arjan isn't necessarily a cleaning woman. She might just like the outfit. So she's a rare character and she's got the ultra mop, right? But what is she good for? Probably something, or we can just say absolutely nothing. Uh, much like war. She's not as smart as dog and pony. She's not as strong as Alex. She's not as Healy as Bobby, and she's not as mechanical as Will, so I think we're gonna recruit Will and give up Arjan. Yeah. Oh, wait, one sec. I don't think this matters, but we wanna do this just in case. We can't take her Ultra Mop away from her. If only, right? Man, that Ultra Mop. Arjan gets booted out of the group to make room for Will. Will joins the team. Onward to Canada. Okay. She was our only rare character, but she wasn't really pulling her weight. I don't know what her special ability is, but we don't care. The group goes against their judgment and camps in a city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the, the building is on fire. Who leads the escape? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. If Bobby gets hurt, she might die. 
Uh, our highest wits character isn't one of the options, so clearly it's not wits. Bobby has terrible composure, so it's not going to be her. Alex has terrible composure. We don't know Will's, but Will is practical, so Will. Will tries to keep calm and observe, but he can't keep calm at all. The group panics. Everybody's morale goes down. He plans a fast way out and leaves unhurt. His wits are revealed as pretty smiley. Uh, the group gets away. The group eats a decent meal. His morale increases, and his attitude is revealed as well. Okay. And, uh... That is all for now, but thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I will see you in the next episode.